gang welcome back to another what should I say another episode another talk I don't know but welcome back and tonight I will be looking at self-love and before I get into it I want you guys to remember that I always have my little notes so if you see me looking down or looking away I'm just trying to stay on track and not to miss any points so as i said tonight we will be looking at self-love so when we hear the word self-love what comes to mind yes loving yourself putting yourself first yes you're right so tonight as i said we'll be looking at self-love and just a few points it won't be long and my first point is loving yourself how could you look at self-love and not loving yourself so yes our very first point is loving yourself love yourself secondly is physical appearance physical appearance yes the way you look has a whole lot to how you feel inside if you're looking beautiful you're gonna feel beautiful if you're looking a hot mess you're gonna feel a hot melt a hot mess so therefore the way we look has a whole lot to do with self-love and people also treat us based on how we look for example you, you went out on the road and this man all ruggedy ruggedy and smelling thing comes up to you or approaches you you're gonna be back backing right versus someone who comes close to you all smelling nice in their chanel blue he's all decked out and looking nice you're more to be more open you understand you're gonna be more relaxed so yes physical appearance has a lot to do with self-love thirdly tap into your confidence we gotta tap into our confidence build our confidence do whatever it takes to feel better to look better adjust our insecurities right and also self-confidence -con allow others to actually respect us yes the way you walk the way you talk give persons another like you know they look at you differently like oh wow she's well spoken or she looks good you know she's confident she's so pros and yes persons will respect you for the way you look based on your confidence being reflected outside they will actually treat you and respect you based on based on your confidence the confidence that you show so you know you're approaching someone you get to the point and you know they're gonna they're gonna deal with you different versus you going and you're being so hesitant they're you know like what is she about being confident and my fourth point is read self-help books listen to motivational speeches this will help you to learn more about yourself and others along yourself your self-love journey read as I said in a previous video, reading helps to build your vocabulary and a built vocabulary helps to build your confidence. And guys, when I come on here doing these little videos, these are real life things. These are things that is either I've used it before or I am actually using it now in my present situation. Just like myself, my the self, this topic tonight, self-love journey, something that I'm actually putting into my life it's something that I'm actually doing so I'm like okay then why not let my my star babies know about this and you know 
come along the journey with me in also building your self-love. And my other point is, date yourself. Don't sit around and wait for a man or a woman to take you out on a date to treat you. No. Go to the movies. Take yourself out for dinner. Take yourself out for lunch. And dating yourself will also help you to identify your likes and your dislikes, your desire. You know, what you're looking for in a friend, what you're looking for in a partner. Right? And my final point is me time. For example, doing so doing house chores, we tend to see these things as boring. We can turn them into me time. So for example, you're mopping the house, you turn on some music, you get a candle all lit, you're drinking your cup of tea, you're having a glass of champagne, just enjoying yourself, trying to find fun in what you're doing. And that allows you to actually, you know, Get yourself all relaxed, calm, because it's you alone, right? When you're cleaning, majority of the times you're doing it by yourself. So why not just turning it into a me time? Some music, you dance, you sing, you have your candle all lit, the aroma filling up the room. You're sipping on your tea, whether you're green tea or whatever it is. You're sipping on some champagne, whatever. Just turn it into me time. And that's the end of my point but before i go i would like to share with you guys tips for self-love by oprah winfrey and these are 10 self-love self-love tips by oprah winfrey and the first one is taking responsibility for your life number two believe in yourself number three there are no mistakes number four meditate daily number five take care of yourself number six go within and connect number seven focus on what you have and be grateful for it number eight be the master of your life number nine keep your vibration high number ten it begins with you Thank you guys for watching and please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Share it with somebody else. Don't be selfish. See you guys in our next video.